In my last video, I explained how you could troubleshoot a faulty MAF. And this was the faulty MAF that was in the car before. It actually had the ground on the middle pin, sending no signal, no airflow to the ECU. And the car went into an automatic mode whereby the ECU is sending a default amount of uh, fuel into the injectors so it can keep the car going. Uh, meanwhile, I ordered up from Paddock Spares a, sp a new uh, MAF and it arrived by mail today and here it is and as you can see it is exactly the same uh, device um, and we will fit the new one on the car and do some data logging with the Nanocom Life and then we can compare it with the data logging we've done on the faulty one and we'll see what the difference is uh, on the car in terms of uh, ECU output. At the same time, we will do a road test as well. And I'm quite sure that the new MAF will actually improve the car quite a bit. So let's get on with some real life data logging and then I'll show them to you in some graphs and we can actually compare uh, the two. We will now be looking at some collected graphs uh, from live data. We'll be looking at the engine speed, the road speed, the MAF airflow, the manifold uh, turbo pressure and the EGR modulator. All these graphs are compiled from some number crunching uh, that we obtained from the Nanocom. And this was an acceleration test from zero to 85 clicks an hour. So here we go, working with a, driving with a good math. Uh, we shifting through the gears from standstill up to 85 clicks an hour. And you can see the engine speed uh, revving up in RPMs. And while we're shifting through the gears, it goes up and down. Interestingly enough, uh, you can see that the airflow in grams per hour is following uh, the RPMs, and that's what it should be. The turbo pressure looks all right, and now we are at cruising speed in fifth gear, and everything becomes a bit stable. In a few seconds, um, I'm going to back off uh, on the throttle, and you will see actually the EGR modulator uh, kicking in, uh, recycling exhaust fumes uh, back into the intake manifold. The car feels pretty responsive and powerful so this feels pretty good and this kind of a behavior that you see is what you would expect from a normal working um, good working MAF and overall good working ECU. The next thing we did is we replaced the good MAF with the faulty one, crunched the numbers again and did the same acceleration test again. Uh, you see me um, shifting through the gears, increasing the road speed. Uh, the RPMs are going up and down a bit while we are shifting. And now we are kind of in fifth gear and we will speed up to about 100 clicks an hour, if I'm not mistaken. And then the airflow is remaining at zero. Um, and that's because we have a faulty MAF. And if you looked in my previous um, video uh, on checking the MAF, then you'll know why uh, that is zero. It just doesn't sense any airflow because it was faulty. Note as well that the EGR modulator never gets activated in this case. So the conclusion of this video is that a faulty MAF um, will slow down the performance of the car. It will feel a bit limp and it has an effect on the EGR and some other parameters of the car. So thank you for viewing.